Hello, I'm Matt Kale of HomePaintings.biz, and today I'm going to show you how to make spray paint stencils. To start our stencils, you have to decide what purpose do you want it for. Do you want to have a really thick piece of cardboard you're going to make your stencil out of? This will be good for multiple uses until finally the material will start to warp with the paint you put on it. Or, do you want something with more controlled line and shape, a thinner piece of material but still stiffer? Um, but this will also be less inclined to last longer. So in this case, we're going to do a little bit of both. First with the cardboard, just doing a very, very simple heart. And then also with our other piece of material, where I'm employing a nice silvery pen, because then it'll actually show up on the black. Now we want to move on to cutting. For cutting, there are two options. There's your good old scissors, and there's also employing more of a razor blade. So definitely be safe, especially with the razor blade, which I like to use for the more of the cardboard material, while scissors is more than adequate for the more shallow material. Place the cutout stencil over the material you want to leave the pattern on and press down to make sure it hugs the material. Then we take some spray can. Make sure you have good ventilation in your room for this. And we're going to put on a light spray. I suggest leaving it on here to dry, especially if your paint is runny, which new spray paint cans especially can be. Then you gently remove your stencil. Now you have a nice heart shape transferred on here. Let the stencil dry before actually attempting another pattern, especially if the material is thinner. Otherwise, it's going to start to warp much earlier than it would otherwise. I'm Matt Kale of HomePaintings.biz, and thank you so much for joining me today to learn how to make a spray paint stencil.